There was Hillary Clinton celebrating Barbara Walters' last day on The View, one stop in a week that had the feel of a presidential campaign in full swing after Karl Rove took a shot at Clinton's health and the whole Clinton camp fired back. Here's Chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl. Hillary Clinton seems to be enjoying the endless 2016 speculation. Check out how she dodged the big question from Barbara Walters. The question I want to ask is how you're going to run, but... Well, I am running around the park. <laughs> but this week, the Clintons were out in force. 14 public appearances. Not just Hillary, but Bill, too. And when Karl Rove attacked, the Clinton rapid response operation was also out in force. It started when the New York Post quoted Rove questioning how badly Mrs. Clinton's brain was hurt by a concussion she suffered in December 2012. 30 days in the hospital, and when she reappears, she's wearing glasses that are only for people who have traumatic brain injury? We need to know what's up with that. In reality, Mrs. Clinton spent three days, not 30, in the hospital. Her spokesman hit back, accusing Rove of flat-out lying. Then it was Bill Clinton's turn. First they said she faked her concussion. And now they say she's auditioning for a part on The Walking Dead. But Rove wasn't backing down. She had a serious health episode. This will be an issue in the 2016 races, whether she likes it or not. This much is not in dispute. In December 2012, Mrs. Clinton was ill with a virus, fell, and suffered a concussion and a blood clot. She stayed out of public view for nearly a month, her spokesperson downplaying her condition. She is still under the weather. This week, Bill Clinton acknowledged it took her six months to fully recover. Clinton appears to be in good health now, but Rove made it clear that the health and age of Mrs. Clinton, now 66, will not be off limits. Republicans are sending a message, in a sense, to Hillary Clinton that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a free ride. Bill Clinton said he expects the attacks to get harsher. It's just the beginning. And no doubt the Clintons, both of them, will be taking plenty of shots, too. For this week, Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Washington.